Hey guys, uh, Kyle here, and today, obviously you read the title down below, this is a Arduino Batman Gauntlet build. Um, I've been working on my bat suit for quite a while, and it's actually complete, but now I'm just going around seeing what I can add to it. For instance, this gauntlet will have a LCD display built in, and a ultrasonic rangefinder built into the helmet at the back of it if it'll focus which I don't think it's going to no okay anyway it's gonna that'll be built into the back of a helmet so when something's within 300 centimeters it will tell me on this display here hey guys um, this I'm just rendering the video right now and I realized I didn't actually say why there would be an ultrasonic in the back of the helmet um, if you've played any of the Arkham games, you've seen Batman counter enemies from any direction. And I'm thinking, in real life, how would he actually know if, if someone's running up behind him with a baseball bat? Because he couldn't really, he wouldn't be able to hear um, unless he has like a, a bat sense, you know. I was thinking, what sort of thing could he use? Um, I'm thinking something in the back of the helmet. So when someone's running towards him, on this gauntlet, he can see they're coming closer and closer and closer. It gives him time to react. Um, that's kind of my thoughts behind it. This is just one of the ways. And I thought bats, sonar, ultrasonic, you know, it all just kind of fits in well. So this is just a quick uh, add-in to the video. Anyway, back to it. I would just like to say this is going to probably be around three parts spread over the course of July. Um, it won't go any longer for the gauntlet, but there'll probably be other electronics within this bat suit. Um, but I haven't really thought of any yet, except from on the other gauntlet. As you see, there's only one LCD on this. There'll be three on the others with buttons going down the side, displaying other things. For instance, this is showing me the range of the back of the helmet. This up, the other gauntlet will be showing me my heart rate, um, and then something like a clock, and other weird things like that that Batman might have built into his bat suit. The first thing we want to get ourselves familiar with is an ultrasonic rangefinder. This is a HC SR04, one of the more common ones to use for an Arduino. Um, as you see it has four connections right there. You've got ground, there, echo, trigger and BCC. These are all very easy to wire up and I will show you me doing that straight to an Arduino and we will check um, if it's getting found on the software in just a second. Now the first thing you may notice that is that this is not an official Arduino. No, in fact this cost me only £3 or around $5 off eBay by a seller, as you can see the name on the screen. Now this Arduino I've had no problems with. Uh, it's actually called a, what's that say, NH Duino, Uno, and um, it runs exactly like an Arduino. All the experiences I've had with other Arduinos are pretty accurate to this. Um, one problem I had with this is it didn't come with a micro USB, as you see it runs off from there. Um, and I had to run around for around 20 minutes looking for one in my house. In the end, I finally found one, but just be careful, if you're buying this Arduino from the seller that I've put in the description or on screen um, you're going to also need a micro USB cable that just looks like that socket there now the way to wire this up is simple for the all the code I'm showing you in this will be in the description links to download it or you can go to the Facebook page that will also be in the description now to wire this up you've got as I said a few pins on this VCC will go to 5 volts and ground will obviously go to ground. Okay, so now the wires are tinned. I'm going to take VCC to 5 volts. So I'll do that quick. Okay. Now, just to be obvious, the next one I should wire up is ground, which is this one, which is the blue wire. It's just right next to 5 volts. 
the awards to go in. There we go. Okay. Next two aren't so obvious. So the echo pin you're going to want to go, which is, by the way, this one, the green cable. It's going to want to go to pin 11, which is just, you can't really see because of the lighting, but just here. There we go. And then the trigger pin is going to want to go to pin 12. Okay, so now this is all wired up. Let's go over to the laptop and see if it works. Sorry if you can hear the fan of my laptop in the background, but I've decided to record like this, primarily so I can show you me using the Arduino in action. So I'm just going to plug this in right now. As you see, as soon as you plug it in, oh, there's the camera. The lights start flashing on the Arduino. Now, just, I'm going to go. Now this is a example program for the um, Ultrasonic. Uh, again, this will be down in the description or on my Facebook. So I'm just going to upload this. Okay, that's done uploading. I'm just going to go to the serial monitor. And then change this to that. Okay, now you should be able to see it says around 152. If I move my hand in front of it, it goes down. 10, 11, 12, 10, up and up and up until I move my hand back away. So this is very simple code, obviously it's just saying, oh, wherever the distance is, make it that, if I put it down obviously, oh, I missed it, if I put it down it'll be zero. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way out. Um, so this is basically part of the code I'll be using. I'll show you, if I just stop for that real quick, and I'll show you the actual code I'll be using. Actually, let's not shut that down. It is this. This is the enemy detect code on my little LCD display. It'll pop up saying uh, enemy detect. Then on the line below, it will tell you how far away they are in inches. Um, I might change that to centimeters, might make it a bit easier. So guys, this is the end of this video. That was all the code I'll be using and a simple explanation of how to set up a ultrasonic. In the next video, hopefully I'll have all the parts and I will be showing you me setting up this LCD display with the text reading from the ultrasonic and it will all be done using a breadboard and the 10k potentiometer I'm waiting for. Um, where I bought all this from the links will be down in the description and if not again check the Facebook page that's the only other place I'd put the information I might just make a big word document and put a link for download in the description. Um, but if you're wondering how making this light up without being able to plug it in or anything, if you just put some jump wires in it and uh, just plug pin 15 and 16 into ground and 5 volts, uh, 15 being positive, you can make it light up. So, in the next video, we will be setting this up. And yes, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.